Alright, hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Henry and welcome back to the channel for a quick help video on what is a transponder when it comes to airplanes and what are these cheat codes that you keep seeing memes of, like seeing a free air show or priority landing clearance. What are these magical codes? Well, today we're going to touch on it. So what the transponder is, is that if you're ever in, today we're in a seminal, but today we're going to be focusing on this little guy here. Let me get rid of this. This guy here with the big 1200. Zero, zero. This is the transponder. What, what they generally look like these days anyways. They used to have the old mechanical wheel, but now they're all digital like this, mostly. So what is a transponder? So according from the ground up, a transponder is a receiver and transmitter which will generate a reply signal upon interrogation by secondary surveillance radar. All right, that's what this guy does. So primary surveillance radar is like the old fashioned radars where you see uh, the radar screen with a blip. A secondary surveillance radar is uh, used by ATC to interrogate these guys, so transponders. So transponders basically tell ATC who and where you are. So codes are assigned by ATC for a controlled flight. So it could be VFR, IFR, whatever. If you're controlled by ATC, chances are they're going to give you a squawk code. What's a squawk code? Well, see how it says 1200 on it right now. Um, that is an uncontrolled VFR squawk code. So basically, if you're on their radar screens, it'll show that you're just flying VFR uncontrolled. Uh, if you're above 12,500, you'll put in 1400. So that means that you're uncontrolled above 12,500. So if I click VFR, it'll go back to your standard VFR 1200 for flights under 12,500 here in Canada, okay? So if ATC assigns you a squawk code, they might say uh, Lima Oscar Lima squawk 1234. Then you would reply over the radio squawk 1234 and then you'd type it in. 1234, you will then show up on their radar screen or wherever they're handling traffic. And if they need additional help finding you, they might say squawk ident. You press the ident key. That basically makes you flash on their radar screen to help find you if uh, if, it's, if it's a busy airspace, or maybe they just have trouble finding you. Like I said before, you have specialized squawk codes that every pilot knows. So again, VFR is 1200 or 1400. Uh, uncontrolled IFR in Canada is 1000, or same as the VFR 2000 if you're higher up. Um, and of course, whatever uh, ATC gives you. So like, for example, 4534. So, Let's talk about what those cheat codes were earlier. So you see memes of people saying, oh, this is a cheat code for a free air show. Um, there's actually three squawk codes that are used for emergencies. So these are uh, in-flight emergency, communication failure, and unlawful interference. All right. So squawk code 7700. As soon as you put that, they get an alert saying that there's an in-flight emergency. So maybe like you have an an engine failure or if there's an engine fire things like that um, that alerts them to what's going on let's say if you're uh, flying along especially in uh, IFR flight conditions and you lose your radios well you'd say 7600 so then ATC knows you're okay you just can't talk so they'll generally look after the traffic around you and you'll pretty much Again, depends on your situation and VFR, IFR. You want to be as predictable as possible when you're squawking 7600, whether that's continuing your flight uh, and getting to your location at your ETA, or basically just making sure that you, uh, you, you're predictable for ATC. And of course, the dreaded 7500 unlawful uh, interference and or hijack. So that's, uh, that's when they scramble the F-18s and uh, they look after you. Two more things. Firstly, for IFR flying, especially getting your uh, transponder code is incredibly important for your IFR clearance. So it can be received in the air, so you can do your VFR departure 1200 and get your squat code in the air, or you can even uh, call uh, ACC like the IFR clearance departure uh, and you can actually get your squat code through the phone. So they might tell you your squat code is 2323 and then you go from there. Lastly, there are different kinds of transponders. We aren't going to be going through like what's a mode C, what's mode S, but modern transponders are nice little pieces of equipment, especially on smaller aircraft. Because again, you can even see here where um, 
they do encode pressure altitude. You can have a little timer on it, outside air temperature, your density altitude, uh, counter up and counter down. It's a lot of neat little tools in modern tra transponders that you can also find on glass cockpits though. But it's a nice little backup. But yeah, so again, you can see it's being interrogated by radar. It's sending off our pressure altitude, etc. So yeah, for today, that's our quick little uh, what is a transponder little episode here. If you have any questions about the transponder or any of these other wonderful things in our little Seminole cockpit here today, definitely reach out in the comments below. Have a great day all. Fly safe and happy landings. And as you can probably tell, I'll be reviewing the Seminole in Flight Sim as well as X-Plane because I actually have time on the real plane now getting my multi-IFR rating, Group 1. Anyway, see y'all later, have a great day, and see you in the next video.